Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Switch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now, if you're wondering, uh, the title of this video, yes, apparently I've been living under a rock. I've never heard Deftones before. I've absolutely heard the name Deftones, but never sat down and listened to any of their music. And we're going to change that today. I am so excited. You guys have shown me so many amazing artists, uh, most of them who I've actually gone to see live in concert and listen to on a daily basis. So thank you all for all of these amazing requests. Uh, we're going to be starting off with a song change. Uh, if there's another Deftones song you want me to uh, listen to, please let me know in the comments below. But as always, if you do enjoy my videos, be sure to leave a thumbs up on this one and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. You never miss my videos ever again. That being said, let's get started with the Deftones change. We have a very unique voice here. Uh, I, I was not expecting this whatsoever. Once that, you know, uh, a guitar kind of started and, uh, you know, that bass was really nice and it seemed like he was doing kind of like an effect with his voice. I thought we we're going to get something completely different. And then it got kind of, it, once it gets started, I love how everything is mixing so well. The bass, the guitar, uh, the drums, the vocals, it's all piecing together. Um, and this very, uh, seems like a very depressing setting. Obviously you see parties, um, usually full of life, but you know, you don't, you never talk about the aftermath when you, you know, have had a little too much or people here look passed out drunk, uh, or, or, you know, had some drugs, whatever it is. It seems like kind of like the uh, complete opposite of what you imagine a group of young people having a great night. And then it's just turning into this, especially with that, you know, tone in his voice. There's a very cool tone in his voice. I love. And he has a little bit of that grit in there. We, I heard a little bit of it. I'm intrigued. I'm very, very intrigued here. Uh, I want to go back a little bit more because um, I, I want I don't want to miss it with that flow. I'm so sorry for for these pauses, but a good choice. A very good choice. I'm intrigued. I'm here for it. Uh, let's continue. Okay, we're, we're getting into a change here. And, and now I'm like, sorry, it's all starting to make a lot more sense. Obviously, I watched you change. Uh, I used to fly so alive. Uh, it's like you don't have wings. It's it's almost like it's fitting with all of these people here who look very much uh, had a little too much, a little uh, very much under the influence, actually. And it seems like, you know, I took you home, all of these things. And it's kind of, it's, I guess it's that anger, uh, uh, what I'm taking from this so far um, of anger of seeing someone who had so much life all of a sudden have that completely stripped away and like they're no longer just they're, they're just there it, it almost seems like, like a night and day and it's crazy to me how all of this is just you know it's incredibly poetic uh, i was really not expecting that to get super super deep but 
now that it's all making sense, it's not just a, a dirty ass house with a bunch of drunk people. It's it's really a lot deeper than that. And I'm kind of like scratching the surface here. And it's really, really it's almost fucked. It's a little bit fucked uh, uh, in, in a way that is intriguing to me. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm obsessed with his voice. I, I think he does some really cool things with it. And it really kind of I guess it's like a, a, a he like narrates this story and he has a way of like telling us this wonderfully depressing story uh, in a way where it's just like it kind of you you kind of put yourself in his perspective and it kind of is a, a little bit tormenting uh, it gets a lot more somber yeah um deaf tones i've been missing out like crazy um wow yeah i went back a little bit let's, oh, we're getting a change here so let's continue I, I, I honestly, I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, when I, you know, when I first saw the video, I was not expecting to get this uh, uh, deeply invested into this song. Um, now I'm already wanting to hear more. I'm, I'm honestly so excited. I know I had a few requests for, um, I don't know the name of the song, but it was the one that had um, uh, Maynard from Tool. So, I mean, I, I love Tool. We discovered the, them to, uh, together here on this channel. So I would absolutely, you know, love to see what they do together, what they cook up for us. Um, but damn that's all i can say is just damn that was really that was just so fucking good i really enjoyed that from start to finish um the, the guitar and the bass were just doing so much magic and those drums are so killer i love the tone on that snare drum um but his voice i was mentioning it over and over i felt i sounded like a broken record um such a cool tone uh it does some cool things crazy cool things with his voice he can sing very softly and then get really really you know gritty if he needs to especially enunciate certain words that kind of give it a lot more power um mentioned this before i love when i see an artist uh even on your first you know listen even with just their voice even if there was no video i would definitely be able to you know tell these are people that are singing from the heart from a place of experience from a place of sadness from a place of happiness you know it feels like they wrap all, every single emotion up and they give it to you in this nice little package with a nice little you know shiny bow uh and once you open it up you can really kind of see into their hearts see into their minds these people i feel like they need to sing they need to make music they need to do this it's like it seems like a, a, a kind of like a form of therapy for them um i know that probably sounds silly but like i just i i felt it i felt all of it like like if they were see-through and i can tell like even in his facial expressions i could tell this is definitely someone who sings with intention they all play with intention they don't play because you know, they made a song and they want, you know, people to listen to it, blah, blah, blah. I think they played because they really pour their heart out onto this. And they kind of made a story. I don't even think I would call it a song. It feels like I got told a story. And the way he narrated it and all of the instrumentals, you know, in the background accompanying that narration, it just sounded so well. And it made that story way more impactful. Um, sorry if I'm not making any sense. I, I just... I, I truly I truly was not expecting um, to have my mind blown by Deftones. Um, it's the very first time listening to them. And... I'm in. I'm so, so, so in. 
Let me know which other ones you want me to hear. I'm already so excited for the next one. Um, please just throw it my way. I'm so stoked. Um, but let me know what you thought. If you've ever seen Deftones live, I would love to hear your experience. What is your favorite Deftones songs? I'd definitely love to add it to the list so we can listen to it together. Um, but other than that, if you did enjoy my video as always, be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. Uh, if you want to hang out with me, I do stream on Twitch full time. I'd love to have you on there. We are super close knit over there. We do live reactions, sing, play music, uh, play games together, all kinds of stuff. Love to get to know y'all, but I do have videos every single day. So stay tuned. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.